Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Adela aka Shockwave. So today um, I've been trying to uh, find a way to reduce the visibility in a realistic manner in DCS for a KS3 approach uh, into the carrier. Um, now the reason that I've investigated it um, lately is because um, I believe there's been some changes um, just playing around with the mission editor on the ability to uh, lower the cloud base. So at first um, I just recently published some videos on just introducing fog which looks absolutely awful in DCS and um, <coughs> so um, instead I've uh, looked to reduce the cloud base uh, and played around um, with the cloud base and the other great thing uh, that the mission editor has done is the ability to turn on lights. So with those two things uh, now we have uh, the ability to have a realistic and awesome looking low condition uh, weather. So uh, to do that um, basically you have to select nothing. All the other presets don't allow you to go to zero. Um, and you essentially go to uh, the minimum uh, cloud base. So if you go to zero it'll go to 984 but with the thickness uh, it actually works out. Um, so 984 is the lowest you can go <coughs> and uh, it does create some patches in the clouds. So you go to density 10, thickness 10. Um, so max thickness, max density, rain, and then the base is the lowest. Um, I'm not sure if, I think this was always the case, but I've never really played around with it. So it actually turns out really well. And the other thing is the triggers. Um, now you can have the ability with this option to send the, um, uh, basically to set the lighting modes set care lighting mode and you can set it to whatever you want with the radio button. So with those two things, uh, we have now the ability to have great looking min visibility approaches. So let's uh, jump in and uh, do an approach. I've set myself up uh, about 10 miles behind the boat and uh, that's just to give me a bit of, a bit of time to set up uh, the air, the jet, and then we'll do an approach. So uh, let's uh, jump in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, <coughs> jump in and uh, take a look at the conditions and make sure that we are actually in a cloud on the aircraft carrier because we don't want to be um, in one of those patches where it's not, uh, you know, it's not covered by cloud base. So here we are. at the uh, parking rig here, if I can see what's going on. Alright, we're here in the jet. Uh, this is how it looks from the jet, so very, very bad. Uh, let me also get my super awesome script here for um, deck layouts. Uh, actually, not, not a very good... I'm going to do it when I'm in the air. Alright, uh, so let's go to uh, the external view here. And... Uh, show you what this looks like so uh, beautiful sunset or dawn uh, you've got a basically a broken layer everywhere but there are gaps in the clouds uh, can't quite see them because light dark and uh, the carrier itself is currently in uh, navigation mode I think but uh, we're gonna you can't see anything but if we go and change the carrier lighting to recovery uh, with the magic of the new tools uh, we should be able to see the landing area. So this is what it's kind of going to look like when you're approaching. Uh, so it's pretty close to the boat when you actually see the LA. So we're going to go and uh, see what that looks like. All right, uh, let's uh, choose a different slot. Go to our uh, aircraft and get going here. Alright, first things first, uh, let me adjust the volume real quick. Alright, um, let's do an active pause real quick. Actually, screw it. Alright, um, get some lighting. Get this thing out of the way. Uh, let's get the radar altitude on and uh, get the radar altitude on right away. Alright, really low. That's a climb actually. 
Alright, so, let's get rid of that, and that, and that. First things first, HSI, ACL, HSI, IFF, okay, let's go back to 1200 feet, real quick. There's 1200. Alright, radar altitude. On. Alright, attack and 31, x ray, enter. On. Alright, let's try it again. 7, 1, enter. Box attack and. Get that guy there, ILS, clear. 11, enter. On. It is on. Data link is on. Uh, button 3. Let's call the boat. And call the Marshal, 076. Marking mobs 260 Angels 1, state 5.3. And I'm pretty sure the final bearing here is... 076, Rough Rider Marshal, case 3 recovery, CD1 approach. Expect final bearing 78, altimeter is 290.903. 076, Marshal Mothers 258, radio 21, DME Angels 6. Expect approach time is 06. Yeah, yeah. Right. 076. Commencing, state 5.3, altimeter 290.903. Alright, we don't need it. Let's just have the needles here. 076, radar contact, 7 miles. Expect final bearing, 7 8. 076, switch approach. 076. Alright, let's uh, dirty up. Gear down. Flaps down. Up down. Autopilot off, I don't need that anymore. And I'll still be up here. But, uh, the aircraft stabilized, 140 knots. Alright. Let's come back to a. Uh, back on course. This uh, AOA thing is kind of annoying. Alright. On course, on glide path, 3.7 mile. That's uh. 076. Platform. 076. Roger. There's our uh, needles. Alright, here we go. Three miles. This is starting to descend. Old tap. We are high. We are to the right. A little more power. A little left. Here we are. Right, left of course. High. Left of course. Very high. I get it down. Two miles. And we have the uh, red light. I get it back. A little high still. Bring it down. There's our orange light. So we can't see the light on a mile and a half, so that's uh, it's gonna help us. In many cases, you can't see that, and you have to go just by the needles. We are a little low and left. Bring it in. Little right, right for lineup. Little right for lineup. Half a mile. Left. And I can't 
can't see, there it is, the LA. And we were low. Oh. And there's the missed approach. All right, let's try that again. Go left. Climb to 1200. Pull out. Bring our course back. Again. Seven eight, right? Yes. All right, let's box this thing for twelve hundred. Uh, still have to turn. All right. I guess I should uh, dirty. Clean up, but I'm not going to. I just want to get this uh, back at one and a half miles. We're real close. Alright. So I'm going to give myself a little more distance and get back down. Back down to 1200. Come on. It's uh, 1 8. Alright, good enough. Let's turn back uh, downwind. Alright, 1200. Power. Get off. All right, twelve hundred four point four miles. Let's turn. a bit straight to intercept. There it is. Start turning. Point four, point three. this thing back on our needles. Oh, I guess bullseye. Alright. Not too much. Alright, 3.9 miles, 1.2. Left of course. Let's get back right. 3.6 miles. A little low. Alright. Some clouds, uh, cloudy things happening. Still left, of course. Approaching light path. There's light path. There's some power. Still left, of course. Alright. We're way left, of course. Let's uh, line up again. There's our lineup.
left, of course. Alright. There's our lineup. A little left to maintain lineup. A little less power. Alright. Hold it there. Dropping. No power. More power. Half mile minimums. Very low. There's the approach lights. And there's a landing. That was, that was rough. Alright, guys, there's our landing. And uh, that's the conditions that we landed in. right now this is the layer on top but yeah very rough conditions very very cool though but that's so that's with the lighting and uh we barely managed all right we're gonna try that one more time with daylighting all right guys here we're back uh, in the mission editor so i'm setting it to 840 so sign is up everything is the same uh, except the density, I think I will drop this down, but uh, let's let's take a look at what this looks like. <coughs> One thing you'll notice uh, that during daytime, the lightings, uh, the lights don't show up in the light. So let's go in and uh, get into this jet. Alright, daytime, this is what it looks like. Super cool, still can't see anything. Let's take a look on deck, what it looks like. Yeah, you can't even see the other side of the aircraft carrier, so... Um, if I turn carrier lighting on... Let's go here, carrier lighting, recovery. I mean... This is this is worse than night. Like this is the same setting as night, but at night you could see uh, the the lights pop up a bit more. So this is what it looks like above. So we are in the soup. Um, so again, going back, where's the uh, carrier? There we go. So we want to make sure that we have something reasonable. So this is not landable right now so let's go ahead and uh, reduce our settings <laughs> so i believe the main thing we need to set is the density to something reasonable so we are at 10 let's try with 8 and uh, try that Look at that. We're actually out of the soup right now. But look at that. Look how great that looks. Freaking awesome. So, essentially with this, uh, this is what I'm talking about, these big gaps. So if the carrier is there, it's uh, it's actually case one conditions. If you're in that little hole, probably. 
I don't know, or in that other hole. But if you're in the soup, which is what we're, we're heading towards, uh, then you should be good. So uh, it's kind of actually very cool to see this transition. Look at this. Like that is sweet. And this is much better than the fog system that DCS offers. So anyways, uh, let's uh, head in into the soup. Make sure we're well in inside of it. And I think we are. All right, let's try putting some carrier lights on. Wow, that made no difference. That is amazing. But yeah, that's not going to work out. We're not going to be able to see the boat. All right, let's go back. Let's try. So eight, seven. Should we try seven, or have to go down to six? Let's try this. Let's try seven. Alrighty, back into the soup. Boom, inside the soup. That's awesome. All right, fully in the soup. Holy cow, I still can't see anything. Try with some lights on. That is not going to work out. All right, we're going to step it down two notches, and hopefully that should work. Try to get three to 400 foot visibility here on this thing, or otherwise we're not going to be able to land. All right, let's go with five. So, uh, yeah, so on a night time, due to the carrier lighting being further away, you can actually go uh, with that higher setting. I think it was even 10. I, I, you can go back in the video and check it out. I don't remember, but on a daytime, uh, you essentially want to reduce it to something acceptable. So let's uh, let's try this. Look at that! It's like bright as hell, and. Uh, Wow, look at that. We're like, that is crazy. I'm not sure if uh, we're even gonna. See, things changed completely. The clouds changed completely there. All right, let's try to see. Uh, we have to time it. I mean, it's uh, it's a good time in the soup, but we can't uh, dabble forever. That is cool. What is that aircraft? That is so cool. Oh, I think I know what's happening because of the thickness. It changed the. That's what's happening because of the uh, the density. 
it uh, just made things um, a lot patchier. Alright, how's this? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's uh, get some recovery lighting on. Screw it. Let's try it. Alright, autopilot, uh, radar altitude on. Let's get this thing done quickly. Nope. Come on. HSI, ACL. HSI. ATC. Quick, 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 quick. Down. Marshall, 076. Marking mobs 262415. Angels, one. one. State, 5.5. On. LS, clear. Zero seven six. Letters weather is visibility ten plus mile. Scattered clouds at one thousand. Altimeter is two nine nine three. Case one recovery expected. DRC eight seven. Report seeing me at ten. Zero seven six. It's not case one. Does this look like case one to you, buddy? Oh, we're stalling out. Does this look like case one to you? All right. Anyways, uh, we're twelve miles out. I think we need to attack in. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get the uh, ACLS, but uh, screw it, whatever. All right, let's do a right lineup, and let's uh, hope that the the clouds stick around for this one. I'm gonna configure it eight. Right, let's climb back up. Back down. Back in the center line. Back in the soup. Very soupy. Alright, nine miles. Let's get this done. Alright, slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright. There's eight miles. You're down. Flops down. Oh man, I don't know if this is gonna be case one, but it is super freaking cool, that's for sure. Right, struggling a little bit with the. Uh, wow, this is fun. This is so cool. All right, let's uh, get configured here. Wow. This is this is this is so much better than flying in uh, clear conditions. Look at that! Oh wow, that is that is something. Let's hope to get to the carrier. Uh, carrier is in the soup there, and we're low and a little bit um, six miles. Oh my god! I hope I hope we can catch the carrier in the soup. This would be freaking awesome. Look at that. We can see this clear sky above. We can see the water. And uh, but because we get a cloud over there. Oh, well, look at that. We can see the one of the uh, escorts. Five or six miles. We're low. But unfortunately, we have no um, no ACLS. So um, let's still. This will be a good test of the needles. So we're right, of course. And uh, we're low. Power zero seven six. Overhead angels one. State five point zero zero seven six. See you at ten. Zero seven six. 
you know what, I'm gonna, inbound, resuming mission. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna board it and see if it's the case. We're gonna see KC right now. Zero, seven, six. Power, Roger. BRC, eight, seven. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Just give me. Zero, seven, six. Come on. Update state, switch down. Zero, seven, six. State, four point nine. What is happening? Why, why don't you just. Oh, I think it's screwed up. The radio menu is just not working. Anyways, hook down. 2.7 miles. Let's, uh. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, I, my radio meter is not working anymore. I broke it. But it's okay. We got needles. I mean, bullseye. Alright, a little left. 3.2 miles approaching life path, and it looks like we're gonna get in the soup. So that is freaking awesome. Look at that. Pay attention, shockwave, pay attention, All right. Intercepting light slope, and uh, here we go down. All right, let's hold that for a second. All right. All right, I see carrier lights. Or the lineup light. Oh, we're left. Wow, this is more difficult than at night. I am disoriented a little bit. I see a like this fake horizon. Wow. All right, a little high. On lineup. There we go. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. I mean, the meatball is a bit cheating, but uh, you know what? what? Can we do about it? I should probably turn that off. All right, bullseye. We got bullseye. Let's try to hold it steady. A little high, I think. You know, it's funny. Oh, drifting. Alright, uh, we need a little, low, 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 where, uh, yeah, that would have been, uh, <laughs> wow, that is crazy, yeah, definitely, uh, that was not a safe, uh, that was definitely not a safe trap. But anyways, guys, it gives you guys a, a sense of what um, what is possible when you set the clouds to your minimum and your thicknesses. You very play around with your thicknesses. Uh, this is so much better than the the fog, uh, which is just absolutely horrendous looking. This is uh, a lot more realistic, um, and uh, it's yeah, it adds a whole new challenge to case ones and. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, definitely go and try it out for you guys, for yourself, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And sorry about that uh, horrible lining. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.